Welcome to Axiom Design Portal Software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Sonos app to your mobile device. Okay, we're going to start by going up here. And what I'm going to do, instead of building one from scratch, I usually just start with a template. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the templates. I'm going to go ahead and open this iPad uh, Cosmos right here. What happens when that opens, it gives you ready-made pages. This is one shortcut that you can actually use instead of trying to build pages from scratch. So if I chose to, I could delete pages that I do not want. So say I don't have an iPod, I just go ahead and just delete that page right off of my system there. Okay? But one thing I can do, I don't have a Sonos page. So what I can do is pages I know I'm not going to use. I know I'm not going to have satellite in my system. I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything on that page there and use the delete button on my keyboard and just go ahead and delete that page. I'm going to do that for a second page because I want two pages for my Sonos. So I'm going to go ahead and eliminate another page of satellite and go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to go ahead and rename this page here. I'm going to call this first page just Sonos. I'm going to call it Sonos Nav for navigation. My second page, I'm going to go ahead and rename that one as well. And this one I'm going to call Sonos Play. Okay, and now that I have two empty pages here. I'll go back up to my navigation page. Now what I'm going to do is go back over to my gallery here. Now your gallery, you want to make sure that this high res button is checked. You of course have the high res button checked anytime you're going to use any one of the uh, iPad uh, templates there. Okay, so from here I'm going to do the drop down. The very first thing on the drop down is applet examples. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now, if I go down to the bottom here, or close to the bottom, this is where my Sonos apps start. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a navigation page. And the way I do that, I'm just going to select one and just double click on it. Now you notice that navigation page, it just shows up on my nav page here. Okay, and here's my navigation page. There's certain properties that I can add to that page. And how do you get to that is double click the center of the screen here. The window over here appears. From here, I can choose which Sonos device I'm actually using. If I want to change my fonts, I can do that. If I wanted to affect the color and the way the colors change, uh, that would be the dynamics of this area right here. I would do all, that, all these changes right here. I can show progress, show progress bar, show text. And here, more importantly, I can kind of choose what I want to view on this particular screen. In this case, I want to just view content browser here. This service button, if I push the service button, it allow me to add services to my system. If I want to add Spotify or Pandora, what I do, just simply click the button there. And if I have a user's account with Pandora, I'll just go ahead and I'll just type that in there. And then I would type in my password that goes along with that. And if I go ahead and close that screen there. Now what I want to do is add a second page of my Sonos. What I want to do is just click on the second page right here. Now there's a blank page there. What I want to do is go back to here and go ahead down. This time I'm going to choose a play button or a play playback for my Sonos. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and double click there. What I get here now is a simple uh, play area right here. This shows me that I can play my stuff back and it's going to show my track and artists and things like that. I have the same properties for this one as I did the other. Uh, the difference what I want to do here though, I don't want to have two Sonos players so here's going to ask me which device. I want to I make sure they operate on the same device. I'm going to go back to my original Sonos. Now if I had two different devices and I wanted to operate on two different uh, Sonos, any Sonos that I drop in, it adds one every time. So if you want them to operate the same one, you just want to stick with the same one here. If you do it with one, you don't have to necessarily go down here and rechange all of these properties here. But I can just link those two together and I'll show you where they're linked. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Okay. And the way they link together is here. If I click on this one here, it, it's going to open up for me a window over here. And what that is, that's simply a swipe window. So it's saying that when I swipe from this to this, it will go to that. So if I swipe on the navigation, it will take me to this. Now this was associated with the old satellite, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut that one out there. I'm going to go ahead and clear that field right there. 
So now when I swipe to this one, it's going to take me to this one. If I do the same here, when I swipe to this one, it will take me back to the other one there. And once again, I'm going to eliminate any association they have with the satellite there. Okay, the last thing I need to do uh, to get this to actually act activate is here. I'm going to go to the first Sonos because remember, this is the one that I chose in my property. So I'm going to click on there and over here, I'm going to add the IP address. How do I get that IP address? I actually go to my Sonos player itself. I go ahead and I click the help button on the Sonos. I click the about Sonos and it will show me the IP address. And I just take that IP address, just go ahead and drop that right in my Sonos window right here. Okay? That's how you add that to your system there. And from there, I'm going to simply go ahead and upload this project to my iPad or iPhone. And the way I would do that, the way I would do that is go ahead and highlight the one that I want to actually upload there. And then I would click this upload button. When I click the upload button, I want to make sure that I have the app actually open on my iPhone or on my iPad. Or whatever device I'm going to put it on. I would go ahead and click it there. And what I would get is this window right here. And in that window, if you have a device, it will actually show up in that window. Once you open the app on your phone, uh, your Samsung, in this case we're going to look at a Samsung device, just simply click here and you go ahead and you click Upload. And that will simply load this project right up to your iPhone or your iPad. And from there, you are ready to go. And that's how you would add your Sonos app to your iPhone or your iPad or Android device. Once you upload your app to your iPad or your iPhone, this is what it's going to look like. You go ahead and get your Sonos app there. And as you can see, it will open up. These are your services that you added. You get to swipe your page. And on that page, you can see you get your, all your Sonos information. You get your artist playing. You actually get cover art. And you also get a little timeline on there. That's how it looks like on your iPhone or iPad.